What up? It's your boy, Luke for Prez, back in the mix yet again with another video for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well as always. Today, I am going to be covering exactly how to set up Google display ads for your beat selling business. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know I'm really big on Google ads. The Google search ads specifically have been the most successful for me, but the search ads alone do not provide you with all of the tools at Google's disposal that you can utilize to sell more beats. And so today we're gonna be focusing on display ads. Google display ads are the visually based ads that you might notice to the side or at the bottom or at various places on a website that you happen to be visiting. They might not necessarily be on a website related to what the ad is displaying, but they can really just kind of show up anywhere. The reason why I wanted to cover these, even though it's definitely not the main focal point of my marketing strategy for my beat store, is that Google display ads can provide you with very, very cheap clicks as opposed to the price of clicks on, say, a Google search campaign. As you can see here, I recently ran a brief display campaign and I got 608 clicks, 56,000 impressions for an average cost per click of only 13 cents. Uh, so that's, if you, if you had any experience whatsoever running Google ads, you know that that is outrageously cheap. Uh, to contrast, my Google search ads typically come in around 75 cents per click. So those are significantly more expensive clicks. Now, why are they so much cheaper? Well, they're not quite as targeted as the Google search ad clicks would be because in order for someone to click on a Google search ad, they had to type something into Google relating to your business. So for instance, rap beats for sale, buy trap beats, something like that that signals that they're already interested in potentially purchasing a beat. With display ads, people are just browsing on random websites. They're not actively searching for rap beats in that moment. So just inherently the targeting is not gonna be as dialed. So that's basically the trade-off when it comes to these display ads. To utilize all of the tools that Google provides you with, I think this is definitely a useful component of your overall marketing strategy, especially if you're on a tight budget and you don't have a lot of money to invest in ads. These are some of the cheapest clicks you can possibly get. So I'm gonna break down now exactly how to set up a campaign for Google Display Ads. So once you log in to your Google Ads dashboard, click on Display Campaigns, and then click on new campaign here. It's going to ask you to select a goal, select sales, and then click on display. Now it's going to ask you to select a campaign subtype. It recommends that you start off with a smart display campaign according to Google advertisers with this goal, so the sales goal, get more conversions using the smart display campaign. In this case, normally I like to dial in the targeting myself as best as possible, but since conversion tracking is so difficult, especially if you have a BeatStars website, in this case with display ads, I actually leave it on smart display campaign and let Google basically do the heavy lifting in terms of finding the people who are most likely to interact with your ad. And I'll explain in a little bit more detail later how they go about doing that. And then at the bottom of this screen, you simply enter your website URL. So for me, that's lukeforpresbeats.com. Check me out. So now you can name the campaign on this next screen. You can name it whatever you want. Select the location that you're looking to target. 
I stick to the United States at this point. Languages, obviously English. So for the bidding section, again, since conversion tracking from Google ads is impossible, if you're using a BeatStars Pro page or a Blaze Pro player plugged into a custom website, so you can't really optimize for conversions. It's, it's a little bit of a, a challenge for Google's algorithm because they don't have accurate data to draw on as you're going. So even though this is recommended to say, uh, you know, focus on conversions, I actually select uh, this down here and do a uh, select bid strategy directly and then uh, leave it at target CPA. So that's basically like how much are you willing to spend to get a sale that would still be profitable to you. In this case, based on the past performance of my campaigns across Google ads, they suggest a target CPA of $14. I'm going to leave it at that, but you can always come back and adjust this as you go if you see that the campaign is not performing to a level that you're comfortable with. And then for this section here, I leave it on clicks. The other option is viewable impressions, but we're trying to get people to actually click through to our website. And we wanna find people that are interested in rap beats, right? So it doesn't matter how many impressions that we get, how many people actually see the ad, if none of them are interested in rap beats. The only way to know if this is going to be an effective campaign is if you actually get clicks. So I leave it at clicks. And then it's going to ask you to enter what you want your daily budget to be. So how much money do you wanna spend on these ads per day before the ads will shut off? You can start with you know a very small amount if you want. I'm just gonna put $20 a day for mine, which is like on the very high end for display ads. You really don't even need to start that high. In terms of this, I just leave this alone, dynamic ads because I don't think Google really has enough information about our targeted customers uh, to you know, make any kind of informed decisions on how to personalize the ads. So I just leave that alone. Um, you can click on more options there and set the start date and no end date. That's how I leave it, just so it runs until I decide to turn it off and I don't have to worry about it. Conversions, they can't really track, so I leave that alone. Content exclusions. This is where you can basically choose who you want to show the ad to like if for whatever reason you're you're showing some like r-rated stuff you cannot show it to kids or whatever but i just leave all that blank because it's it doesn't really apply to us as rap producers targeting so uh, as i mentioned earlier in this type of ad you really kind of have to just trust in Google's algorithm, which I know is a scary concept, but you can't really like hone in too much on the targeting. The way that these display ads will be the most successful for you is if you've already had some type of search campaign where you've already created a keywords list because that's the main thing that Google uses in order to figure out who to show these display ads to. So as you can see here with targeting, it says automated targeting uses website visitor, landing page insights, and your search campaign best performing keywords to automatically target customers across the web. And as it runs and as you start getting clicks, it will continue to optimize and it will try to find more people to show your ads to who are similar to the people that have already clicked on the ads. So as you go, it's just gonna get more and more dialed in. That's how the algorithm works. This next section is where you actually get to create your ad. Now again, this is a visual display ad. So you're going to need to have some kind of image with potentially text on it. You're going to need to put on your graphic designer hat just a tiny bit to get the most out of these ads. But I'm about to show you how that's not as intimidating as it might seem. It gives you the option to add images and logos and videos that you can use for these display ads. And then here it shows like a, basically a little rendering of what the ad will end up looking like. But let's just go ahead and start with images and logos. And you can actually scan your own website. You just type in your website URL here and it will pull images from your website. So if you wanna be really lazy and really basic with it, if you have your logo somewhere on the website, you could just use that. However, I don't recommend it because 
without any context, if people haven't heard of you before and they just see your logo, that's probably not gonna entice people to actually click. So you can take the easy route, but again, if you're trying to get, you know, if you're, if you're really serious about this, you're gonna wanna put in a little bit of extra time to actually design some kind of graphic that people will respond to. As you can see here, this is what I've used in the past. It's actually an image from my Facebook page, my producer Facebook page. It just says instantly downloadable rap beats. There's an image from Unsplash in the back with my logo and then like links to my social media and my website. So it doesn't have to be anything crazy. So I would just use that. And then the other cool thing that you can do is if you post beats or anything really related to beats to YouTube, you can add a 30 second clip of one of your videos. So like for me, like one of my most popular beats is called aggressive expansion, right? I don't even have to have the URL pulled up. Like I can just type that in and then like, boom, there it is. You know what I'm saying? Now in this case, I probably wouldn't use this one cause it's just a still image of Southside for the whole video. But if you have, you know, some kind of like uh, audio visualizer or some kind of video with movement, that's probably going to be more eye catching and actually get more clicks, get more attention. So that's another option that you can use if you wanna avoid any type of graphic design whatsoever. You can just use one of your YouTube videos, which is pretty dope. If you do wanna get a little bit more in depth and actually design a graphic. I'm going to show you a free website. That I think I've mentioned in previous videos, but I'm going to do it again because I love it so much. It's called Canva, C A N V A.com. You can basically design ads, Instagram posts, whatever you want, flyers, postcards. It's crazy and it's totally free. You can customize the size of the post that you're making. So in this case, for my previous campaign, you can see I used an image that is 300 by 250 pixels. So all you have to do here is go to custom size and enter 350 by 200, click create design, and then it's gonna take you to this blank screen here where you can essentially do whatever you want. And even if you don't have any graphic design skills whatsoever, you can search through templates. Like I already did this. You just type in like Google ads and stuff's already gonna come up, right? And obviously like you can use this search feature to try to dial in and find something like specifically relating to music. But if you just like a certain font or like a certain layout or something, right? You can just click on it and then you can customize it as you want. So you can just kind of use it as a starting point and then you can upload images yourself and then just you know customize it from there it's very easy basically everything that you need to get a dope looking ad is totally free you just have to play around with the interface a little bit and you'll be well on your way so yeah canva.com can't recommend it enough for all types of stuff and google display ads is no different so once you've figured out what kind of ad you want to have whether it's just like an image that you design or a video clip the time comes to enter your headlines. You can enter up to five. I recommend doing all five. And what Google is gonna do is basically like show all of them to different people and over time determine which ones work best. And then they will show those more often to try to get you more clicks. I've used things like this, like Rap Beats for Sale, Buy Beats, Luke for Press Beats, like, um, you know, Radio Ready, Rap Beats, right? like bulk discounts available, you know. You can get more creative than that, but really it should just entice people. First of all, it should explain what your business is, right? Because these display ads don't come with a whole lot of context. But then also entice people to click with whatever special offer you might have at that time. And you can go crazy with all these different descriptions. They give you like a ton of different spaces to do that. Uh, I would fill out as much as you can of all of this then it's gonna ask you to enter a, uh, a business name. So for me, it would be Luke for Prez Beats. For additional format options, I just leave all of this selected and I don't touch the ad URL options either. You want the destination, just you wanna make sure that the destination still says Luke for Prez Beats. Well, 
if you want to advertise my beach store, you can put that, but you, you want the final URL to be your website, right? And as long as that is the case, then when somebody clicks on it, they're going to go straight to your homepage, which I think is ideal unless you're advertising a specific beat, which you theoretically could do, but I think it's better just to take them straight to your homepage. And then when you're ready, you simply click create campaign. And, um, after a short review process to make sure that you're not violating any of Google's terms, which you won't be if you've done this correctly, your campaign will be live and on the internet. So that's basically it. Just a quick overview on what display ads are, how to set them up and how to get them to be most effective in terms of driving traffic to your beach store. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments what topic you would like me to cover next. I'm always open to suggestions. And with all that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for the support. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.